Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another Air Guns and Coffee Talks with Air Guns Raider and Hip Shot, guys. Uh, today, guys, we have another video. Today, guys, we have an unboxing video. Uh, guys, uh, it's been a while since I, I've cut a video, so guys, I uh, want you to uh, grab yourself a cup of coffee. Coffee's hot, or your favorite beverage, and meet me and Hip Shot on the other side. So, guys, uh, you may be wondering, you know, uh, why you're looking at this box uh, with this Nerf uh, Hyper on it. Guys, uh, I want to dedicate this video to a friend of mine who uh, has been going through uh, and battling some illness. And uh, his name is Scott Guy. Uh, Scott, uh, he resides up in uh, Seattle, Washington. Uh, and hopefully, you're watching this video. And um, you know, if you if you do, then you know what this is about. So, just hopefully, uh, you know, uh, you can figure this one out. So, anyway, guys, uh, be right back. Okay, so guys, it's been a while since uh, myself and the hip shot has uh, cut a video. Um, as you know, if you watched uh, uh, a couple of my past videos that that are recently posted, that I've been dealing with some uh, personal illness myself, and um, just haven't been able to do some of the things that I've been uh, capable of. Uh, and this has been going ongoing now for almost three months. So we're battling it, guys. It's uh, it's serious enough, but guys, it's not. I don't think it's going to be fatal. So let's get that out of our heads. Um, but you know, it just it slowed my production down on uh, this channel, and uh, haven't really uh, posted much. So we're gonna do this one. Yeah, so this one, guys, um, this was an unexpected um, air gun raid. Uh, as you guys know, my raids are my purchasing and scouring and looking for bargains, uh, guys. Uh, this was unexpected because <laughs> this is one of those that was uh, spousal approved, guys, you know. Uh, this was one I wasn't expecting. This was one uh, my wife was like, hey, why don't you uh, go ahead and do some air gun uh, shopping. So I was like, you know, I'm not going to turn that one down. <laughs> so it, it, it kind of fell into my lap. So, but I didn't know what I wanted to do, guys. So, you know, it took me a while to, to come across uh, an understanding of, you know, and looking for, you know, something that I hadn't had or something that I have had and, uh, you know, what, what would it be? So I, I, I went to my, you know, my regular areas of searching and trying to find bargains. And, um, there were some things I had paste in the cart that, uh, are obviously not here, but they were things that, um, were on my list but i came across this one because this one was on the list at one point but it wasn't uh it wasn't urgent and i had passed up on it and i had decided that you know what uh i really didn't uh, want or need this particular item but uh i got it on a really good deal guys so it was like okay so you, this is the one that you're gonna go ahead and, and uh, raid. So give me a second guys and we'll get to unboxing and we'll get to, to show you what's in these two boxes. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with the smaller one. And what's in this box guys, at least one of the items will, will give you a hint towards what you're about to um, what you're about to see in the the video in the 
other box. So, okay, guys. So I can see there's two items in this box. So this one has to do with what's in the other box, guys. So just hold on to that one for a minute. This one also has to do with what's in the box, guys. So I'm looking at this box and I was like wondering why it was rattling like this. They didn't put any paper in this, guys. This is more sensitive than that, so I'm hoping that it's okay, but hopefully it will be. Probably is. I don't know. Okay. And they both are items that are meant to be used uh, for this particular item. So, hold on for a minute. Okay, guys. So, let's get to cutting up. Again, guys, this is a, an order from Epic.com. I do a lot of shopping there, guys, because they they have they they're the one place that has uh, two of my favorite items, guys: air guns and airsoft guns. So a lot of times I'll scour their uh, website and I'll come up with deals and bargains, guys, like I did again on this one. So, just a minute. Okay. So this is a player's card that they sent. Uh, this one is a Colt AR-15 A2, uh, which is probably an airsoft gun, which you pretty much know. So I have a few of these now, with player cards. So I'm collecting them. Okay guys, here we go. Backwards. This is, guys, the Tipman TPIX pink ball marker. Uh, in this case, guys, it's purchased as uh, the other dual purpose of this is uh, less than lethal options. So, give me a minute, and we'll we'll take it out the box. Okay guys, so if you're familiar with my channel, um, you probably know that I've had a various, uh, you know, you know I, I have an eclectic taste when it comes to air type pistols and things like that. So uh, if you also are familiar with some of my videos, you know, my recent uh, trek into some of these things has been the, um, the less than lethal side of things uh, based on paintball markers or less than lethal, lethal markers because I've purchased uh, a couple of them, you know, the uh, HDR 50 by Umarex and the HDP 50 by Umarex and the Valken M17 um, paintball marker, uh, guys, which what got me interested in the side of this is that uh, People are using these as less less than lethal, or they are compared to the less than lethal uh, products that they're put out on the market. Uh, some of you guys are familiar with the burner um, type uh, offerings, um, the burner SD, uh, one of the burner um, can't think of it offhand. Um, it's a it's a it's a rifle. Uh, you know, so I'll try to put it in this video if I, I uh, once I start to edit. 
So anyway, guys, those are considered less than, less than lethal. But the deal with that is, is that um, on the less than lethal side, for those who are manufacturing these things, you know, the cost is somewhere in the ranges of. So a pistol from Burner may run you anywhere from six to, to $800, depending on what you uh, put into it. This particular one, uh, I've seen used as less than lethal, um, has been running in the range of 299, 330 or whatnot. I didn't pay that for this, uh, guys. Uh, that was one of the reasons why it was on my list, but it wasn't something that I was going to pull the, the trigger on because, uh, you know, I, depending on what it is, um, in the past, I've spent upwards to, you know, certain amounts, but not for this particular item, not because I don't think it's worth it. It's just because that's just how I do my, my, my air gun rates. So, and this one, uh, I got for probably a third of what it would have cost me if I had been able to purchase a burner pistol. So that, that lets you know, you know, right there, you know, that I got a pretty good deal. And, you know, also guys, uh, let's, let's, uh, get some, um, understanding about this particular pistol. This particular pistol guys has been out for quite a while. Uh, and, uh, I think it was released like in 2011, uh, this particular one, the one prior to it was the TIPX. I mean the TPX, this is the TIPX. The TPX was manufactured in 20, uh, I want to say 2009. This one was 2011. Um, uh, because the, the, the previous one had some issues and, uh, according to, uh, what my understanding is this one here was a better iteration of it. And they solved some of the issues they had with it. Uh, even though it's also my understanding that even this current one has, uh, has some, 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 some problems to deal with as well. But anyway, uh, because I've been on this less than lethal understanding i wanted to do some videos based on that and i want to do some comparisons when when i get uh better and i'm able to um to get back at it i want to be able to do some testing and just some fun stuff with it guys so uh whether it's going to be used for that purpose is not really the uh the point the point is is that it's uh some it's an air form of air uh gun uh, that you know, this one is particularly uh, run off of CO2. And so we'll get into some of the details of it. So let, let me go over the other things that's on this table. Be right back. So first up, guys, uh, I kind of want to, like I do with everything, guys, I kind of kit things out and uh, try to make them where, you know, they're functional based on my liking and my taste. So in this case, guys, uh, I'm probably not going to take this out of the package right now. This is a uh, rechargeable uh, rail mounted tactical LED laser light. Uh, and it's uh, by Defentech uh, Tactical Accessories. So... This one, guys, I, I, I came across and uh, it was in my range. I think I paid something like 20 bucks for this, uh, which, you know, guys, for for air guns and stuff. Um, these are not uh, firearms, so I'm not not uh, addressing them as so. But, you know, you'll you'll get goodies and, and you'll you'll buy uh, accessories for them. And, you know, you, you, you put them together how you like to do them. You customize them the way you want to. And so that's what I plan to do. So that's the reason why I purchased this one. So, uh, yeah, that wasn't a bad price on that. So, and then guys, uh, when you purchase, uh, paintball markers or less than lethal, you, you need to buy you some type of uh projectile. Um, let's see. I can't open it with one hand. Uh oh, excuse me. Wait a minute. So, yeah, so I bought some of these. These were 
rubber balls that they use um, for training and whatnot. So, um, these are a 0.68 caliber, um, it's 100 count, T4E rounds. Um, so yeah, I can't use these in my other markers, guys, because I don't I don't have the one that that uh, that has the uh, 0.6 uh, eight balls. I, I use the the 0 0.5 O balls, um, the 50 caliber um, T um, T4E HDR and T4E HDP 50s that I purchased. So, but this one is the uh, it's 0.68, just like my Falcon. I can use these in my Falcon. M uh, 17, uh, which I'll, once I get the testing, you know, whenever that is, uh, I'll be able to now cross test with uh, the 50s calipers and the 68 calipers when I want to do some testing. So, okay, guys, so let's get to the main event. Um, so again, this is the Tipman TIPX 0.68 caliber um, paintball pistol. It is uh, true fed. And so um, the box says it's compact and lightweight, quick release magazine. It's a first trigger pull punctures the CO2. Um, and uh yeah so it says it includes um two seven ball true fed magazine barrels flocking device uh deluxe hard shell case and uh it's a uh, maintenance pack so there uh there's the case it came in guys um this is the box it, it seems to be a decent box, guys. You know how these things come. Uh, you know, usually I case them out in different ways. This one I may not. I don't know. Let's open it and see what's in the in the case itself. Okay, it's, just, uh, it's not upside. It's upside down. No. Okay, so this is the case. And. Uh, this is the manual. Give me a minute, guys. I want to shift this around for the purposes of the video. Okay, guys. Let's let's do it this way. So, this is the manual. It comes with a pretty thick manual, guys. Um, it has details on it. It uh, breaks it down. Uh, this is a very detailed manual. So, you know, it's got a lot of stuff to it. And we'll uh, we'll come back to it and get to it when I get ready to use it. I'm sure. Definitely want to read uh, these things, guys, because you want to make sure that you don't tear it up or do anything wrong or keep it from functioning properly. So uh, in the bag, guys, you know, from the videos I've watched and now I'm seeing for myself, this is uh, a barrel plug. And I'm assuming that you use this, guys, when you're on the airsoft field. Uh, let's see. It has some... Looks like some maintenance grease in it. And um, it has an Allen key. Uh, and an O-ring, guys, from what I can see right there. See, oh, it's got two Allen keys. In it, so that's in that. Okay. So, guys, it came with a spare magazine. This magazine supposedly holds seven rounds. Uh, it's solid magazine, guys. It's plastic. Um, there's the follower. It's, it's not all that. The, the spring is not all that. Uh, strong but I don't guess it needs to be to feed this thing um, so this is the spare one and then this is the marker itself guys so I can tell you the way it fits in my hand you know guys I like uh, I like a pistol 
that has a little bit of heft to it. Well, this one is not as weighted. I think they said it's like 1.6 pounds. Uh, solid construction. Um, has a metal trigger. It has a safety. Uh, it has a rail to put the um, torches and things, which is like what I purchased. I'm not sure just how I'm going to use this yet because I've got some other ideas about it. Um, the way that it's made up, it would be like a striker fire, some of the striker fire pistols that I have. Um, the sights, guys, are not marked. But that's okay, guys. I'm going to figure out a way to do something to attach some type of optic up here. I've got an idea uh, in my head about it. Uh, let's see. Uh, the safety looks, appears to be ambidextrous. Um, and this is where the CO2 goes in. I'm not going to take that out. And this is the barrel. So the barrel is the it's yeah, it comes out as you can see. This part is is not. I don't think this is threaded, but it it appears to have um, some serrations. You know, for for being able to twist it out. Guys, also I've seen where they have like I you know I, in my with my Falcon. Um, M17, I purchased uh, some barrels um, for that. It's, uh, I think it's A5 barrel. It supposedly fits in this marker as well. And I might just, you know, it, it, if it, do, it does, it, it'll, it'll probably reach out to be like this. So this will turn this into a possible rifle. I have some, you know, how I like to just kind of take and concoct my own uh ronies for these things uh because i don't want to spend the money and i put together some of them you know i i use use uh stuff like the um nerf nerf type uh guns and i convert them into ronies for these things just so that i can have have the option of shooting them as rifles so that's probably the plan for this one uh let's see is there mag release where is it right? Is it here? Yeah. Okay, that's the magazine release button right here. And that's the other mag. So it comes with two magazines with uh, seven. That's the logo. So, yeah. So the construction of this thing, guys, is polymer. Um, it's heavy-duty polymer. Like I said, the weight in it, it's, it's weighted enough that you, you feel it. It's, it's lightweight. It doesn't look to be, you know, it looks heavier than what it is. Um, and that's the logo. Looks heavier than what it is, but um, uh, it's uh, it seems to be sturdy in its build. Yeah. Um, and I've seen, you know, where you have to adjust these things right here to fit the 12 gram CO2. Uh, to make sure that it punctures right. So it has to coincide with the trigger, which is like they say with the trigger, um, the trigger, um, it's, you, you adjust it according to this and you want it to be where it breaks somewhere around here. Um, because if you don't, you're going to get uh, leaks that will come out and it'll be immediately known. This is the power, I believe, the power adjuster. And uh, this one here is the line feed so that uh, if you want to HPA it, you can. You can do that. That's an option with this particular gun. Uh, I don't I don't see me running a line uh, like that, but. I mean, imagine if, you know, you were a person playing um, paintball, it would come in handy. So, yeah, guys. So, you know, like with anything, guys, you know, even with the with the regular air gun pistols and, and rifles and things, they have a shelf life, guys. But the shelf life on these things seems to go on because 
they don't they seem to keep them at a price and that price goes on for you know a couple of years a few years just depending on the life cycle of the product and how the manufacturers want to um sell these things and so you know i've learned to you know i can wait or i've learned to put them on the list guys this is one i can mark off and put as another one for my collection um you know and i like i said sometimes i pay depending on you know what it is like uh for instance you know the umarix notos when it came out it didn't matter you know they they, they had it at a particular price and it stayed at that particular price and I was going to buy it because I really wanted that one. And so I purchased it. Um, but a lot of the air guns I have, some of them are like that. Some of them guys, you know, when they came out, they had price tags of over $500. Uh, and I have some to reveal that I have in boxes based on that, but I didn't pay that. Um, you know, because they're they're on lists of mine. I have these lists, guys, of rifles and pistols and all types of things um, based on air guns or air related. And uh, sometimes I check can check them off. This is one I can check off because I knew that I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna spend six hundred dollars for for a, a marker or a, a less than lethal um, pistol. Um, you know, I just want to be able to, to do, um, you know, what I want to do based on the things that I do and how I do them. So, uh, but this one came right in the range of where I needed it to be. And thanks to, uh, Mrs. Air Guns Raider, um, she was like, uh, really on, you know, she, um, uh, told me go, go do what I want to do. And so I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, I, like I said, I'm not going to turn that one down. So this was a happy purchase for me. Um, like I said, I had a few items in the in the mix that could have made it. But since I'm do, I've been doing the less than lethal, and I will tell you, and I told you that the the Falcon was probably going to be my last one. This one, for certain, unless they just want to give something away. Uh, because I've got enough now to be able to test them out. And I've got now a different, uh, what you say, area of my collection that now has at least four items in that collection, uh, that area. And usually, you know, that's, that's where I, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty good. So, you know, the thing about this one here, guys, is it's non-blowback. So, uh, this feels metal. This feels like it's metal. The rest is polymer, all of this, the grips and everything uh, has finger grooves. Um, I don't know how, you know, it has uh, serrations as if you were going to pull back for the slide, but uh, that's it. So I don't know, guys. There you go. I don't know um, the purchase price on this one, guys. Um, at the time I got it, I ended up getting it for like 320, 324, something like that, guys, uh, which was down from 299, which is they're still selling them at that. And maybe they're going to come off of that pricing now that there's other things that are introduced into this market. Um, I got it for not 320, 220, 224, guys. That's the price. I don't know if I, I'll have to see the video. Um, but that's, that's what I paid for it. So anyway, guys, uh, enough of this. I'm getting ready to start rambling. Uh, you know, guys, like I said, I've been sick and I'm trying to work through all of that. And as I do, we'll try to continue right now. I know that, uh, if I have to, I'll just go ahead and I've got a couple of more unboxings that I can do because I have some, some guns I haven't revealed. And it may just be what I'm going to end up having to do if I can't seem to get out here and get into my range and start doing um, doing the videos like I want to. Uh, just bear with me. Uh, I am, you know, I've been seen by a doctor and so forth, and we're trying to correct my condition. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, that's it. So for myself and the most ferocious hippopotamus in YouTube's history, hip shot guys as you know thank you for coming to my channel 
Guys, if you're here for the first time, please uh, hit that subscribe button. Um, you know, do the whole nine, guys. You know, uh, hit the like. Uh, hit for notifications and share it with a friend, guys. I would appreciate it. And I know Hipshot would too. So with that, guys, thank you for watching this video. And as you know, Hipshot and I, we are out.